Good day, good day. How the honk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. We have got a one up Wednesday and it's a corgi. We've been going through my corgi collection of these uh, particular uh, castings, even though they have different numbers. So we're going to go right ahead and uh, tell you this is the one and only, and it's not complete. Not complete. This is gift set number two, or 2A, from uh, the 438, I believe, from the number 438 uh, gift set. Uh, well, it's gift set number two. And why it's a gift set, it uh, came out in this tan color, and it's the same basic... Uh, as all the other ones, but it has, uh, I believe that's a uh, red interior. Now mine's kind of got some damage there, but a uh, red interior with a silver steering wheel. It's got the concave wheels there. Now this one's got some front end damage there, <laughs> but the gift set came tan with a trailer and it has a big old trailer hook on it, but I don't have the trailer. And so I grabbed this one and we talked about this video before, uh, the gift set number 19. And it's not like this, but it's like this. And so let me try to explain how it is. All right, see how it's curved like this on the back end? Yeah, that's how it's curved on the front end of the gift set number two. It's about the same length or thereabouts. And uh, it has just a back door to it, and it is, uh, uh, the canopy is kind of a apricot color, and it's called the rice trailer, which this is, this is not, I don't think called the rice trailer. Oh yeah, it is the rice trailer, but it's a, it's a different type of rice. It's like brown rice, but white rice, but not rice, okay? <laughs> but anyway, it has this uh, curved uh, type without being a tapered front end to it. And it's kind of, the tan tan part matches the trailer. And I think it has a little bit different hook because it's an older one, I think. So this was uh, tan or beige, came out in 1959 to 1968, okay? So that's what we're talking about. And now this one, I believe, uh, I don't believe it ever came out with whiz wheels. Uh, I couldn't find anything that say that says that it does, and I and I'm not really sure if it came out with the uh, pressed, um, you know, cast the cast wheels like this. I don't I don't believe it did. I'm I'm I could be wrong, and hopefully somebody will comment down below or come over to Facebook. And I don't know why I pay, point this way to Facebook all the time. It could be over here. But anyway, if, go to Facebook and uh, hopefully some of our friends uh, that are subscribers to both here at uh, Roverland YouTube uh, are subscribers to Roverland Facebook and they will post up some pictures of uh, different variations that they have. Uh, I am not really sure. It's really hard to try to find uh, information about these guys. They don't... Um, they don't have a lot, they don't have a database. You know, uh, I've mentioned on this uh, uh, channel before about Phantom and uh, the BAMCA, the Bay Area Matchbox Club Association. They have quite a database. I, I don't know of a database for these buggers here. Uh, if you have a database, hey, let me know down below in the comments, you know, because I'd love to... Uh, refer to you and stuff like that. So this is uh, all blanked out. Now you notice here right behind the uh, gas gas cap there, there's a little uh, bump there. And on the other side, you can see that. And that's where that uh, the four, 417, the 477, the tow, the tow one, uh, yeah, attaches here. And then it has uh, a rod that goes through here. And then a wheel, just like this wheel, uh, spins and uh, uh, works the rope mechanism for the the uh, the hook. 
Now that one doesn't have a hood, uh, a tire on the hood. This one's got a tire on the hood. So very, very nice, but plain, plain, uh, you know, bed here. I really like the little toolboxes that they, they've built in to the beds there. That That's really kind of a cool touch. And then let's take a look at the, the hitch because I, I don't know if we've really taken a look at this older style hitch. It's just a uh, pressed steel and, and it's held on by the rivet, the back rivet. Now that we've had uh, other ones before that uh, just don't, don't have anything like that at all. They're just on there uh, without, you know, having uh, anything in that square. Uh, I think the wheels on this one are pretty original, I think. Um, you know, I, it's hard to buy stuff, uh, you know, abroad and on eBay and stuff like that. And uh, kind of know the authenticity of them. But these look pretty old and uh, I believe that they're pretty brittle. And uh, I, don't, I don't think it's messed with. I think, you guys noticed that, I think these, is this a characteristic, a corgi? that uh, spring in there and you can kind of just barely see it there I think that's a weak spot in the, in the casting and in that that model uh, they kind of all on the, well to be the driver's side because this is a right hooker uh, always have a little something going on with the suspension there but I really like this tan color it would be nice to get a trailer uh, with it but I, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon <laughs> These right now, I think Corgis um, are all this uh, this particular model, the Land Rover 109 wheelbase Corgi toys uh, are calling for a pretty good price. Uh, even the ones with the whiz wheels, yeah. Oh, don't look at that one. That's that's something else. <laughs> but yeah, so they're calling for a premium price. I I know that you can get tires for it, reproduction tires. I don't know if you can get, uh, you know, any of the glass or the interior. Now this is a red interior. They did have the, uh, 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 lemon interior, they call it, but it does have a separate steering wheel. The later models, uh, there was no separate piece for the steering wheel. It was all molded into the dash. But uh, very, very nice. I really like this. I know that I, it's not a complete, uh, uh, you know, unit or, you know, the set, it's the gift set number two. I know it's not complete, but at least it's a, it's a different color variation that I could put on the shelf with my other ones. And uh, hopefully someday, I suppose I should uh, go to eBay there and just type in Corgi Trailers and see if I could pick up a trailer by itself. You know, that's a good idea. I'm going to write that down. Hold on a second. <laughs> no. All right. Well, there you go. One of Wednesday. We're talking about our uh, Land Rover 109 wheelbase Corgi toys. Uh, I've got, well, I got to uh, drop it before I go. <laughs> and uh, there you go. So come on over to Facebook. Show me what you've got in this uh, uh, casting. Uh, they, they, it's all pretty much the basic casting, the same casting, uh, and, and base. They just colored it and, uh, maybe did some different things to it. Uh, a red, we had a red beacon on the top. Uh, we've had a tire on the hood. We've had animals on the hood. We've got other things coming up. So it, but it's basically the same 109 wheelbase, uh, body and chassis, and then they just add to it. And then therefore... That's how you come up with the number, the number 417, 477, 480, 438, you know. So there you go. This is gift set number two from uh, about 1959 to 68. And it came with a trailer, but not this trailer. <laughs> Another style rice trailer, which, uh, yeah, I, I believe it's still uh, uh, dual uh, dual axle and stuff like that. It, it, I think it copies a lot of this. I think it kind of looks just like that, but in <laughs> tan like this, <laughs> something like that. All right. Well, there you go. That's just a quick one on Wednesday. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure you go over to Facebook, join up there, post your pictures over there. What you've got, come on over to 
Roverland channel on Instagram and show your uh, pictures over there as well. Share over there. All right, going to call it a day. Thank you much. And remember, have yourself a great Rover day.